anyone tries to take advantage of that, you let me know, all right? Oh, you're really sick, uh huh? <laughs> you could take advantage of me anytime. <laughs> I have been doing some stuff. I got all the spices for Hadari. I got all of the blueprints for Hadari as well. I think for the whole Najuma thing. I got a lot of shit I have to do. I have to talk to Sifu about a practice sword for Aoni. I also, I did all this stuff for Anar and I got to level three friendship with Hassian. So that's what this is. What's up, dude? I need your help. <laughs> Let me guess, it's about choppers. <laughs> I think about other things. That being said, yes. I have an idea to deal with the Chapa Menace. What is this? Isn't it obvious? It's an advertisement for a great Chapa hunt. Why is there- <laughs> He is literally like, let's just kill these things one by one. Why is there a bounty above the Chapa's head? That's not a bounty. That's the prize money and the big wanted below it. I want people to hunt the Chapas. Is this unclear? It seems fine to me. <laughs> I agree, and yet Eshe has forbidden me from posting them as they are. This is where I need your help. If I am to successfully campaign for this hunt, I'll need better flyers. I don't know anyone else I could ask. Oh, do I choose? Neither of those make sense. What about your mom? Ha! Oh, you were serious. Absolutely not. Oh, okay. Goddamn. Um, I don't know if Tish would be down for killing a bunch of animals, so ha what about Zeki? The shopkeep? What would he know about advertising? Fine, you ask him then, or whoever else is knowledgeable enough to handle this. I don't care who. Meet me when you're finished. If I'm not in Kilima, I'll be in the grove outside Bahari Bay, planning the Chapa's demise. <gasps> oh my god, I just got his key already? Oh, well, we're gonna go see that. I have to go talk to Hadari anyway, so. Let me just quickly water my apple tree. My singular apple tree. I have a whole apple. So I have to return to Hadari for the blueprints and for the spices. Anar for those um those stations I went to. Oh yeah, I get the blueberry thing. That weird golem. Golem wrote me a letter. Oh, I still have to talk to Sabira. Oh my god, I have so much crap. So we're gonna go to Bahari Bay and talk to Hadari, and then we'll go to Hassian's Grove as well. Y'all got worms you don't need. You know, I wonder if uh, streamer mode works now. Hold on, chat off. Maybe it'll work this time with all the updates. Oh yeah, there was an update before I started playing this. I don't know what was added. Oh, hey babe. I ain't that good with words, but occasions like this call for him. So good job. Proud to call you a proper miner of Kilima. You're officially welcome to join the Miner's Guild. Oh yeah, I got to level 10 in mining. That's what this is. You've got access to special items in the guild shop now too. You pay for them with special medallions that you get for building your skills up more. You didn't think you were done, did you? You can also get those medals from weekly guild challenges. Don't know much about those, Najuma sets them up. <gasps> a miner's, <gasps> a curio case, shut up. I'm gonna be saving up for that. Okay, let's do the blueprints. No, let's do the spices first. I found all your missing spices. Huh, looks like you did. Of course, I just ordered a new set coming next month. Just means I gotta use them up quick. Tell you what, meet me by the grill at dinner and I'll make enough for you too. <laughs> me to dinner um i also found the blueprints thanks it's time i got something right just hope it ain't too late got another letter from my family brother this time he says the old pavel mine ain't doing so well these days either maybe shanny will be maybe shanny will maybe shanny will be begging to come here next <laughs> just scared myself there ah oh, sorry i am um having a hard time focusing is it because of me was it that obvious? You know where to find me. I do know where to find you. Okay. Um, I want to go to Hassian's Grove. Meet Hadari for dinner, 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. Gaia, we'll do that too. While I'm here, I want to go see inside Hassian's Grove. I want to see what that's all about. Is he like Ariel? Does he collect thingamabobs? Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? It's just like boarded up and shit. Let me in. I'm very excited. He's very mysterious. I have no idea what to expect. Oh my god, it's a, it's a whole area? This is insane. He has target practices here. Shut up. Fried catfish dinner. Oh my god. Does he dead ass just sleep in a tent? No, there's no bed there. Can I go in the doghouse? Does, does he literally just sleep in a tent? Oh my god, this is stunning. There's a waterfall. You could probably fish here, right? Ooh. 
A book of poetry. Each poem is signed by Hassie and the hunter's several pages look like they've been ripped out. Shut up. Oh my God. This is, I really was just expecting it to be like an empty like mine. That's beautiful. I'm obsessed. I love it. This is so cute. Okay, Hassian, I get it. I get you. What time is it? <gasps> we can go, we can go meet Hidari for dinner. Wait, can we? It's 8 p.m. There's no, oh, 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 oh. At the, at the house, okay. I'm so excited, oh my God. <laughs> Where am I meeting him for dinner? Oh, oh, here. I just gotta wait, wait for him to come here. Okay, can he like hurry the fuck up? Where the fuck is Hidari? Come on, bruv, hurry up. Jesus. Oh my God. Are these people also waiting to have dinner <laughs> with him? Just take your fucking time, babe. Is he coming here? Do I have to talk to him? He's coming. Lucky for you, it's time for dinner right now. Here, I'll let you do the honors of seasoning dinner tonight. Oh my God. Wait. Oh, oh, wait. here. Oh, can I, can I, please. You sprinkle a healthy amount of each special spice on the food waiting by the grill. Good, don't skimp on it. I got fish, cernok, and mushrooms. Which one do you prefer? <sighs> I like mushrooms. I'm a vegetarian. Here you go. You know what? Why don't you take this spare grill I've got? That way, next time you're hungry, you don't have to run all the way back down here for some proper grilling. Stay safe. Aw, he gave me a grill. Oh, and perfect, he gave me food. That's fucking 50 focus, bro, Jesus. Fucking Christ, way to skip out on that. All right, I do not know about, I guess I should go talk to Anar. We'll go back to, I think I'm done here. Oh yeah, and I got all this crap for Badru because he was feeling sad, so I have to go talk to Niall. Okay, we're done in Bahari Bay. Ooh, I'm so close to that. That'll be fun. I am gonna get this iron. I was debating if I should get this iron and I am. Give me a second. I also found out, this is me being very stupid. I didn't know the Phoenix Shrine what, it like existed. Like I just thought it was all the Dragon Shrine. So I've just been using my Renown at the Dragon Shrine, which it's like you can ha hold more food in your focus bar you have more focus but it doesn't like improve the amount of your skill from like stuff that's a phoenix shrine so now i'm working on that i was like why is it taking me so long to level everything up that's why that's why <laughs> i'm gonna go to anar first hey dude i did the i did all the stuff i fixed the lockdown protocol now we may uncover the facts behind this mysterious missive Hecla has offered to accompany us to our destination. I anticipate that she wants to help welcome this Galder to Kilima as she did with you. We will meet you at the temple. I have encircled the appropriate location on your map. Oh, is it another temple? Oh, it's in Bahari Bay. Okay, well, that might be a, a, a next time thing. Let me go talk to Sifu about this practice sword for Auni. I, I forget why he wanted a sword. It had me pick something and I was like, nah, you should... You should definitely fight. So now I have to go get him a practice sword. Yo, I need a sword for Aoni. Aoni wants you to get him a sword? I'm literally talking about this right next to his mom. We would totally not approve. Oh, I already told the little fella, I don't make blades for miners. If you want, I could make a training sword for him out of something safe and not sharp. Just bring me the ingredients and we're in business. Let me talk to her too. Good to see you here. Do you have a twin or am I seeing double? Forgive me, I just beat Hadari in a drinking contest and it hasn't been the best for my sense of perception. I love, I, I love her. She's fucking fantastic. So for the practice sword, what do I need for it? Oh, I just need heartwood. I gotta go grab that. Is Niall close? Nah, he's all the way over there, fuck. Okay, uh, should I talk to Sabira? Let's, let's keep, let's go get heartwood planks. Let's keep on track. I'm doing too much crap at once. Oh, and I can put my grill down. Oh, I have to do my lucky coin too. Look at how much iron I have in my inventory. I've been going crazy mining. Oh, hi honey, what do you need? You want me to move in with, with you and your dad? Um, hi. Hi. So this is really weird and you can deny it if you want, but is she asking me if I'm dating her fucking dad right now? Oh my God. Are you trying to date my dad? <laughs> Did I say that to her? You were trying. I mean, trying. It's it's very successful. I am dating your dad. Um, <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, that was so easier than I expected. 
I'm not here to interrogate you or anything. I'm here because he won't listen to me, and I thought maybe he'd listen to you instead. Whoa, what a fucking... Oh, how the turntables. <laughs> Yesterday, he was complaining about a sore throat, and then this morning when he woke up, I could hear him sneezing all the way in the workshop. Oh my god, he's sick. I have to go take care of my husband while he's sick. He's in total denial about it. He keeps saying it's allergies, but I know he's sick. I was wondering if maybe you could convince him to take a break before he passes out in the mines or something. I got this, bitch. Don't worry. I, I will protect your father. I'll talk to him. Thank you. I got you, girly. Don't worry about it. Let me just, uh, what was I doing here? Wood. I need wood. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Okay. Oh, my grill. Can, does this work? Where is my, my little picnic area? I think this might just be decor. So I'm just going to do like that. Right? You can't use that. <gasps> I just slapped myself so hard in the face. Kanji! I can- It's literally just fucking rice. Shut up right now. Oh my god. Oh my god, I can make kanji. Oh, it's a campfire, technically. <gasps> oh my god. I am so ready for people to ask me for kanji. Let's go. Let's go, bitch. Okay. Practice sword. Stay on the task. <laughs> literally slap myself in the face oh oh that's where her house is you know i need to level up my friendship with sifu because i really want to see inside her house slash their house because it's also hassian's but hassian doesn't stay there he just literally sleeps in a tent hey oh oh i can just go in here oh never mind well i would like to see inside her room as well this is a nice place too bad your 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 son is this hassian's room that I just like walked into. Too bad he he doesn't. I could live here. Hello. Here are the sword materials. Thanks. Maybe this will keep him from begging me for a real one for a while. Oh, I have a quest from her. Should I? No. Stay on task. I'm gonna go talk to Niall. Wake the wake his ass up. Have I gone in Niall's room? I'm just thinking. What is my relationship level with him? Have I been in his room? I don't think I have. Holy shit. Let's go in his room. He's sleeping. I wake up, the early bird gets the worm, it's 2.30 a.m. Oh, Niall, uh, it's Niall and Aoni's room. Oh, but Aoni sleeps in the tree. Holy sh shit. Oh, he's got a little stuffed animal. Oh, because this is Aoni, but... Oh my god, I'm just like taking it all in. Holy shit, it's so small. Oh, so it's both of their rooms, but there's one bed. Not the picture of Kenyatta and a box of chocolate. Shut up, that's so funny. So like, if you date Niall, does this get removed from his room or does it stay <laughs> in here? I got the materials you wanted. Great, if I can fix a fence, I can make a loot, right? But uh, do you think you could go find my dad's old loot for me just in case I need a reference? What the f fuck am I supposed to get that? Good thing I caught up with you. I saved some blueberries just for you. I remember they were your favorite. Aw, thank you. Okay, where am I supposed to go find Badger's loot? Oh, maybe it's like marked on the map somewhere. Another fucking search the area. Where the fuck am I supposed to find his loot? I was worried his dad lost his spark and wants your help getting it back. Maybe a new loot will do the trick. Find Badger's loot and bring it to nut. Is it here? Is it in the house? Oh. Okay. Well, that was easy. Is he still in his room? Oh, he's sleeping. He just went right back to sleep. All right. Uh, oh, perfect timing. This is perfect. Thanks, Diana. So that's how the strings work. Okay, okay, okay. Got it all fixed up. Do you think you can bring it to him? I don't want it to get covered in Ormu slop. That's disgusting. Oh, is he, is he in the house or is he outside? Oh. Dude, 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 wait. I'll be a choppa uncle. Is that what you and Niall were conspiring about? I was wondering where my old one went. I thought a particularly musical ghost stole it. Surprise, I was the ghost. Does that make this a ghost loot? Maybe a, a boot? Seriously, it's too bad it isn't a ghost. At least then it would get some use. I put all that music stuff down. Can't hold a hoe when you've got a loot in the bathroom. <laughs> they could have picked any other gardening tool. Any other <laughs> He's got his priorities straight. At least he cares. Stop. Fuck. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. I'm sorry. Can't can't hold the hoe when you got a loot in the way. Got ya. 
I'll confess, I used to sneak out to serenade the Ormu. But when my loot broke, it seemed like a sign to call it quits. No, I'll hang this up somewhere I can admire it. It really is a beautiful piece. And it means a lot that you thought of me. You sweet, you're sweet as a pea. That really fucking threw me off. Oh, I have to, oh, perfect. Oni, wait, wait, no, 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 he's leaving. Fuck. Oni, I have your sword, bruv. Go, go kill some choppers with it. Shrassian will be happy about that. Yo, I brought your sword. Oh wow, a real sword, like a real knight. When I show this to Niall, he'll have to take me to the runes for sure. Ooh, he gave me smoke bombs. When I asked Sifu to make me a sword earlier, she said she doesn't make weapons for children. I tried to explain to her that I'm basically a man who's going to be accepting his path in the next few years. But she said, basically, is it now? So yeah, I got totally shut down on the whole sword front. I just gave you one. Like what they want to do with their lives forever. My brother Niall recently committed to his path as a farmer like my parents did. Don't tell my mom, but I don't want to be a farmer. I want to join the order so I can learn magic. Is that dumb? I hope that's not dumb. Oh, that's where he took the practice. Did you and Niall have fun in the ruins? Uh, he still wouldn't take me. He said that farm kids like us shouldn't be fighting monsters with swords. And that we should lead stuff like that to the knights. And that I should be old enough to know that by now. Okay, is that it? <laughs> Let me talk to sabira i'm gonna go do that she's just shut up and does she ever leave the room or is she just always in the room hey girly greetings citizen i've been meeting to speak to you about something as you may already know kilima was once a bustling trade hub where merchants from all across the Palean republic gathered to exchange goods and services travelers often took a series of trade routes through bahari bay to reach the village most of those routes have long since gone out of use however there are murmurings that some of these paths have been revived for less than lawful purposes do you happen to have any knowledge of that nope not a clue is that so hmm, i see word has it that illegal flow items have made their way to kilima from bahari city via one of those old trade routes illegal flow items what what are you talking about? The use of flow by any Majiri Palians besides the Order is forbidden by law. It is a part of my job as a watcher of the Order. Was, was that my headphones? What was that? That was terrifying. What was that beeping noise? It scared the shit out of me. It is part of my job as a watcher of the Order to enforce these restrictions, including by investigating the illegal trafficking of flow throughout the Republic. I would like to investigate myself, but deviating from my usual routine may cause alarm amongst the suspects. It would be best if someone more inconspicuous. It would be best if someone more incons in I can't talk. It would be best if someone more inconspicuous were to search that area on my behalf. Good luck with that. Maybe I can help. My instinct says you are to be trusted, so I was hoping you would be willing to become a confidential informant for the order. I am like fucking a double spy right now. In exchange for your cooperation, we will provide you security and, of course, reward you handsomely for any information you provide us. Would that be a suitable deal? Works for me. <laughs> Excellent. The order appreciates your assistance. If I may, your map, please. Give Sabira your map. There, I've marked the location you are to investigate. A rumored dead drop spot for these illicit goods. Do report back to me about anything you find. Oh, and do be careful now. The suspects cannot know we are onto them, or we may lose any leads we have, possibly for good. Oh shit, Reth is in trouble. Ashura looks on you quite fondly, Diana. You often come up in conversation when I'm at the inn. Every time he smiles without fail. Aww. I got you, girly. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm in deep shit. Oh, it's in Bahari Bay. What the fuck is that beeping noise coming from my headphones? I'm confused. Maybe I have to plug them in. Oh, should I see this? A mysterious creature sent you a letter after you gave it a blueberry. It wants something that smells tasty coming from the barn. I'm honestly very curious to find out if this is Gollum or not. So behind the barn? I am so confused. Coming from the barn. A mysterious creature sent you a letter after you gave it a blueberry. It wants something that smells tasty coming from the barn. Oh, am I gonna have to like go in the barn so I'm gonna have to like get close to Badru. Okay. Okay, so we're not doing that now because I'm not close to Badru whatsoever. Can I talk to him again? No. Oh, we're close though. So I guess we'll go. Maybe we'll do this. Let me just bring this amber fossil to Gina because I'm right by her. I found this amber fossil out in Bahari Bay. Oh, cool. Is it okay if I take a look at it? Hmm, interesting. If I'm right, then this must be. Give me a second. Look at my notes. Yes, the marking match up. I never thought I'd come across one in such a well-preserved state. This is truly fascinating. Are you gonna tell me what it is? 
Oh, Ray! Sorry, I totally spaced out there. I guess I'm just excited about seeing a sunshade leaf hopper with my own two eyes. Sunshade leaf hopper? Yes, yeah, sunshade leaf hoppers were native to Bahari thousands of years ago, long before the region even got a name. They're the ancestors of the elusive azure stone hopper, which live in the fields of Bahari Bay. They were thought to go extinct around, well, the same time the humans did. You seem to know a lot about this critter, only because I have a close friend who's a biologist. I wouldn't know much about it otherwise. According to her, the only evidence we've had of the sunshade leaf hopper's existence were a couple of ancient cave drawings and a journal left behind by a human Entomol ent entomologist. <laughs> hmm, turns out that humans never did go extinct, so I wonder if it's possible the sunshade leaf hopper still exists too. Sorry, I didn't mean to ramble. I can't blame you. Fossils are cool. They certainly are. So what should I do with the fossil? If I were you, I'd immediately donate it to the Kilma Natural History Museum for safekeeping. If we had a museum, that is. It's okay with you. Maybe I could take the amber fossil off your hands. I think it'd make a great gift and a fascinating research topic for the biologist friend of mine. What if I just said no? No, go ahead, take it. Really? Great. But then again, you might want to see if anybody else is interested in it too before giving it to me, just to weigh out your options. Of course, I'm secretly hoping you'll give it to me, but no pressure. Alan, you would probably be interested. Eloisa too, since she always talks about starting a museum. Maybe Zeki or Tamala too. Would you mind doing me a favor and tell me where it ends up? As a researcher, I feel like it's my duty to know what becomes of such a priceless relic. Babe, I can tell you right now, it's going straight to Tamala. Huh. Can I eat today? Homegirl, go eat right now. Oh my god. You hear that? I'm giving it right to Tamala. I'm gonna go talk to Zeki about the, the wanted posters for the fucking choppers. Hassi needs your help. Hassi who? <laughs> What's he need from me? Hand him the flyer. Oh man, this is priceless. I ain't never seen anything I like more in my life. Thank you for this. I'll treasure it always. I uh, didn't know that guy was such a joker. Oh no, he was totally serious. That just makes it better. Who you can't make this stuff up. Did he draw it himself? Of course, if you did want help fixing it up, I could whip up a redesign for a nominal fee, of course. What do you want? Not your problem. My weird furless pal, I'll send the bill to Hassie and myself. He called me a weird? All right. Now let me just whip up a little something up, fix those kerns, hmm. and done. Impressive, ain't I? There's a reason I've got the most successful store in Kilima, and it's not just because I've got a monopoly on it. Anywho, here you go, pal. Maybe I'll stop by that hunt, see what's happening. Do I have the poster to put up in my house? Oh no, god damn it. I just have to go give it to Hassian. Maybe they'll give me one. I wanna see what it looks like. Assuming I have to go talk to Hassian, yeah. We'll finish that out. Hey bud, fixed your, <laughs> your fucking wanted poster. What happened to your poetry book? <laughs> I've got some help redesigning your posters. I suppose these will do. Thank you for helping me. Is that really so hard? I don't know what you're talking about. I've been making my plan of attack. If we're able to recruit enough people to our side, we may be able to make a significant dent in the Chapa's destructive numbers. I gotta tell you, I had to murder like a whole swarm of these things to get a blueprint for Hadari. I think we're good. I'll place these posters up in visible areas of the village. Hopefully the reward for the hunt will be enticing enough. I better get back to planning. Stop by later if you'd like. Okay, I kind of like Hassian. Oh, what happened to your poetry book? A poetry book? You must have the wrong person. I don't write poetry. <laughs> My bad, guess I'm looking for another Hassian. Fine, you got me, it's mine. I suppose you're planning on using it to humiliate me? I would never do that to a friend. We're friends, right? I appreciate the discretion, and while I hate to owe you more than I already do, I do have one more favor to ask. I have it on good authority that the rascal who destroyed my poetry book was none other than a choppa. Jesus Christ, this man. The fiend must have scattered the missing pages around Bahari and tell me I'm gonna have to go shooting a bunch of choppas again for these pages. I would appreciate it if you would search their nests to find them. It would be better if it was you rather than someone else. You know, I never wanted much out of life. Just a purpose, a hearth to call my own and someone to share those things with. Same. I sometimes wonder why that's so hard to find. You know, I am a, I don't know who to romance for my second option. I got no idea. Oh, what do I have from Hadari? Don't mind me. Hey babe, what's up? Oh, that's right, he's sick. <laughs> Achoo. Diana didn't uh, see you there. Not that I ain't glad to see you, but uh, you need something or I need you to not die, please. <laughs> I'm gonna do that one. What? Well, don't be dramatic. Not dying. At least not anytime soon. It's just some, some, a chew. 
Some sniffles. Look, I can't exactly afford a break right now. It's too much to do in a day for me to be slacking off. Who's gonna make sure Najuma gets breakfast? Check all the supports to make sure nothing's gonna collapse. Survey new plots to make sure new folks have a place to stay. Then there's the repairs around the house and the ore ain't gonna mine itself. The world won't collapse if you take a single day off. I'm worried about you. I've been getting by this long. If you really wanna help, maybe you can go talk to Tamala and pick up some medicine. That way I can focus on what needs doing. I'm just giving myself so much more shit to do. But like, you are sick, bitch. Go to bed. No, you go rest. I'll take care of the work. Not sure I've ever met someone as stubborn as me before. Maybe that's why we get along so well. But I, uh, fine. You've made your point. I'll take it easy today. You can help me with dinner. The rest of it can probably wait until I feel better. And thanks, Diana. Guess I'm not used to having someone else watching out for me. <laughs> I know. After the accident, and Jum and I both shut down for a while. It takes time to get back to being a person after something like that. Yeah, I heard that story. It sounded fucking horrific. Always good to see you doing well, Diana. Sets my heart at ease. I don't make your heart race. Of course you do. You're you. <laughs> what do you want for food? Oh, a bowl of Cernok noodle soup to Najuma and Cernok noodles, oh, stew to Hidari. Do I have that recipe? I hope I do. Let me go back to my housing plot. Oh, I'm like right there. Fuck it. I like how out of all of the things that he needed to get done in the day, he gave me the thing that requires cooking. Men. <laughs> oh my God. Dude, Anna wanted to apologize for getting maudlin on you earlier. I spent a lot of time lately wondering about what if sometimes I forget you appreciate the things right in front of me. You see, I used to be part of a wandering troop of bards in my youth. That does not surprise me whatsoever. That's how I met Delayla. When it came time for me to leave town again, I didn't, and the rest is history. I don't regret picking Delayla over music. I can't imagine my life without her and the boys. Sometimes I just wonder what it would have been like. That's all. I'm sure you're plenty busy up there with your own hobbies, so I won't keep you longer. Just wanted to thank you for the flute again. Maybe I can pick it back up, if only as a hobby. My dad told me you helped him find all my mom's old blueprints. I don't know if I really deserve them, but I'll treasure them anyway. wanted to thank you, so I put one of her designs together and included a copy of the blueprint in case you want to make more. I call this one Chapabot, but I hope you can call him a friend, especially since you've been such a good one to me. It's the fucking, it's what was on his, shut up. I'm gonna, okay, do you think I could make this and gift it to Hassie? I'm just gonna shut up, that's so cute, I'm dying. But let me see what I need to make the Cernuk noodle stew. That must be the stove, right? Oh, I do have it. Oh, perfect, I have everything I need. Oh, I need star quality though. Perfect, we got this. I'm gonna make this and then deliver it to Hadari and Najuma because I'm the best mother ever. Let's get chopping. Woo. Ooh. Easy peasy. No, I don't want to make it again. All right, let's go. Let's go deliver it to him. Let's go. I'm gonna make you all better. Let me go give this to Tamala quickly. Wait, she's right here. And then I'll go deliver the soup. Hey, Tamala. I had a feeling you'd come around sooner or later. Interested in an amber fossil? That depends on what's inside of it. Tell Tamala about the sunshade leafhopper. A sunshade leafhopper? How curious. The poor little thing was probably going about its usual business without any clue of its impending demise. I can only imagine its agony when it realized it was trapped in the resin, unable to do a thing, as more and more leaked out of the tree and into its body. You have to be so graphic. <laughs> what a way to go! Maybe it was dead before that happened. That would certainly be the most hopeful explanation, wouldn't it? After learning of the very interesting circumstances leading to this fossil's creation, I have to say, I can think of many uses for this. Oh, don't give me that look. I don't have an evil bone in my body. Be a dear and give it to little old me, won't you? Say please. Don't expect me to play these silly little games with you, darling. Aw, oh, damn it. She's, she's way too dominant. If you wanted a playmate, all you need to do is ask Hassian if you could chase after sticks and balls with this bloom hound. I can offer you 800 coins for that piece of amber. No more, no less. Get yourself a deal, babe. Good, I knew you would say yes to me. Everybody does. I'll take that. And you can take these coins. That was easy, wasn't it? Morality always ceases to exist when money is involved. <laughs> Let's go get this soup to Hadari. Oh, he's coming right to me. Perfect. Oh my god, she just dropped in front of me. Hey, babe. I brought you soup. Brought you some food. Hmm, oh, thanks. It's nice. You're nice. 
probably too nice sometimes. Always doing things for other people, looking out for them, even if they ain't looking out for you. Anyone tries to take advantage of that, you let me know, all right? Wow, you're really sick, uh huh? <laughs> You could take advantage of me anytime. <laughs> this is crazy. Might take you up for that offer later when I'm not sneezing my brains out. Should get back to my nap. Thanks, darling. Holy fucking Christ. That's insane. That was insanity. <laughs> Holy crap. Hey, Najuma. I got you soup. Brought you some dinner. Did my dad ask you to? I told him I could handle dinner tonight. Ugh. You cause one fire making soup and they never let you forget it. But uh, thank you for dinner and for getting him to relax. I know I get annoyed with him sometimes, but I'm also really glad that he's my dad. And that he wants to take care of me. I just worry that he doesn't let anyone take care of him sometimes. I should go. Thanks, Diana. Again. Right now, I'm working on a new kind of firework. One that sings a song when it gets detonated. You want to see how it works? Can I stand like 50 feet away? I call that a success. Look at that. Oh. Check back in on Hidari after some time. Probably can't do that right now. After after how much time? What if I just went back to him now? I'm just going to see if it'll work. No. All right. I think I think that was very successful. I'm still reeling from that dialogue with Hadari. That was insane. A heart-shaped quiche? God damn it. How much time? I'm still losing my mind over that conversation with Hadari. And like always, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check in the description for where you can find my other socials. And I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.